Subutai, also recognized as Subutai the Valiant, was a primary strategist and general of Genghis Khan and Obadei Khan. He is known to have conquered more territory than any other commander in history. By employing imaginative and well-designed strategies, he was able to defeat his opponents routinely. He is most famous for organizing the destruction of Hungary and Poland's armies within days, even though those armies were a thousand miles away from each other. Subutai is greatly respected in history for his skill as a general tactician and loyal companion to Genghis Khan. He did many successful invasions throughout his career and was rarely bested. Genghis Khan believed that heaven had commanded them to conquer, and for several centuries Mongol ruled across Eurasia. Thanks to Subutai's conquests, expansive land was consolidated under one secure and calm government, as well as the Yasa legal code. No matter where someone came from or what religion they practiced, if they were good at their job they could be promoted. For the most part, religious freedom was tolerated throughout the empire. Commerce prospered, and contact with other cultures along the Silk Road showed Europeans that Asia contained an advanced society. Europe wasn't responsible for all of humanity's progress. Historians place Subutai's year of birth between 1160 and 1170 most likely in the vicinity of the Onan River in modern-day Mongolia. He was a member of the Uriankai people, a term used by Mongols to describe various forest-dwelling tribes. Subutai's family was connected to Genghis Khan's family for many years. His brother Jilm also served as a general in the Mongol army. Subutai joined Genghis Khan when he was still a teenager, and within ten years had become one of the senior officers. He commanded one of four roving detachments that operated ahead of the main forces. In 1212 he took Quan by storm, the first major independent exploit mentioned in historical records. Subutai was a testament to the fact that the Mongol Empire functioned more on merit than any other empire before it. He came from humble beginnings, as his father was supposedly a blacksmith, a profession not highly regarded in those days. Caban brought his son to serve Genghis Khan when Subutai was only 17 years old, yet he still managed to rise through the ranks and obtain one of the highest possible positions available. All this despite not being related to the Khan himself. Legend says that Subutai told Genghis Khan, I will ward off your enemies as felt cloth protects one from the wind. Subutai was one of the first Mongol generals to see engineers' worth in siege warfare. Even while on the battlefield, he made use of siege engines, similar to ones that Chinese troops had used in past campaigns. For example, at the Battle of Mogi, Hungarian crossbowmen beat back a Mongol bridge-crossing attempt during nightfall and caused many casualties. When Mongols tried to cross the river again the following day, these men fiercely resisted once more. Subutai ordered huge stone throwers to clear the bank of crossbowmen and open the path for his light cavalry to attack without further losses. This novel attack was the first use in the west of such weapons as a form of tactical artillery. While stone throwers were clearing the crossbowmen, Subutai supervised construction of a temporary emergency bridge down the river, allowing them to outflank the Hungarians. These tactics were new to Europe and they thus had no defense against them. Subutai was also recognized for enlisting those whom he had conquered into his army, especially engineers who possessed specific skills. In addition, he excelled in planning ahead and gathering intelligence on his enemies. For example, he placed spies in the Russian principalities, Poland and Hungary at least one year prior to launching an attack against each respectively. His strategy always adapts to the foe, such as by changing tactics according to opponents, terrain or weather. Also, he typically maneuvered enemies into a position of weakness before going into battle. Subutai was so obese during the European campaigns that horses had trouble carrying him. However, he contributed so much on the battlefield that Bata Khan would have him transported to battle via cart or wagon. Unlike European or Japanese armies who focus on a commander's personal bravery, Mongols valued strategic ability and skill in making adjustments mid-battle above all else. Subutai and Batakan, 
In contrast to European commanders like Richard the Lionheart, who rode at the head of his troops into battle, sat on a hill during engagements where they could use flags to direct the flow of fighting. This was only one advantage that Subutai had. He was rarely defeated, much like the Khans he advised. It's worth mentioning too that Subutai was 65 years old when leading the European invasion, ancient by standards of that time period for anyone commanding an army. In 1216 and again in 1219, Subutai defeated the Merkits along the Chu River and in wild Kipchak territory at Genghis Khan's request. Afterward, Muhammad II of Khwarezm attacked Subutai. However, Subutai was able to defeat him after a tough battle by using deception tactics. In 1219, Genghis Khan led the Mongol army west to attack Khwarezm. Subutai commanded the main column's advance guard. With approximately 70,000 armed men, the Mongol army was much stronger than anything Muhammad could hope to field against them. In an attempt to save himself, Muhammad fled into central Persia. Unfortunately for him though, Genghis Khan had already sent Subutai with 10,000 men to hunt him down. Although he eluded capture initially, Muhammad eventually succumbed to illness and died in early 1221. Following this chain of events, Subutai spent part of the winter in Azerbaijan. Genghis Khan's death cut short the Mongolian army's momentum. Ogude succeeded his father and led an attack against Jin in 1230 to 1231, but failed to make significant headway. The Mongols laid siege to Fengshan and eventually conquered it. Subutai outmaneuvered the Jin armies and defeats were suffered by the Jin at Sanfeng, Yangye, and Tailing before Ogude recalled the main army back to Mongolia, leaving behind Subutai and his small force to finish conquering Honan province. Subutai had trouble capturing the large cities and defeating the Jin, so he allied with Son for assistance. However, it didn't take long until relations soared between Song and Mongolia. In 1234, two Song armies took control of Kaifeng and Luoyang. The Mongols would return later to push out Song from those areas. Okude tasked Subutai to take a large army and crush the wild Kipchaks and Bulgars in the western regions. Subutai first defeated Kipchak leader Bakman north of the Caspian Sea before moving on to conquer the Volga Bulgars. In 1237, Subutai attacked Ryzan and Vladimir Suzdal. The Rus forces were defeated in separate engagements and their cities were taken in quick succession. The Mongols spent the summer of 1238 resting along the Don River. Columns were sent out to subject the various tribes living in the plains around the Black Sea in 1239. Chernigov was defeated and their cities were taken by force. The Mongols had made a treaty with Galicia Volhynia but in December 1240, they betrayed this alliance and attacked the unsuspecting prince. In quick succession, they took Kiev, Vladimir, and other nearby cities. The Mongols were prepared to invade Central Europe. Subutai commanded several groups that aimed to create distractions on the sides, while he faced off against the main Hungarian army in the center. The Mongols beat European armies at Kmulik, Kornstadt, Legnitz, Muvi, and Hermannstadt. Hungary was conquered. The Mongols started heading home in 1242 when they learned Orgade had died. The attack on Europe was orchestrated by Subutai, whose claim to fame rests primarily on his successes there. After leveling various Russian principalities, he sent spies as far afield as Poland, Hungary, and Austria in preparation for an assault deep into the heart of Europe. With intimate knowledge of the European kingdoms gained from his spies, he planned meticulously an invasion led by Batu Khan. While Batu Khan was the leader, Subutai served as the commander and was present for both campaigns against Kievan Rus. He also led the central column that moved against the Kingdom of Hungary. While Kudan's force won in northern territory and Piuk's army prevailed in Transylvania, Subutai waited for them on Hungarian plains. At a council of war summoned by King Bela IV at Estegon, it was decided that the Hungarian forces would concentrate their strength at Pest. They would then go north to confront Batu's army, 
which was advancing on Hungary from the northeast. When news of the Hungarian battle strategy reached the Mongol commanders, they slowly withdrew to the Seja River and set up a trap. This was a classic Mongol strategy, perfected by Subutai. By setting up their enemies on the plain of Mogi where they would be exposed, while hiding in woods that prevented them from being scouted or seen clearly, they knew they had an advantage. When the Hungarians blundered into their trap, it was game over. Only a day after the Mongol army in Poland had won the Battle of Legnica, Subutai launched his attack on the Mogi during the night of April 10, 1241. At the Mogi, a single division crossed the river secretly to advance on Hungarian camp from its southern flank. The large force crossed the Sajo at Mogi, using the bridge. The next day they continued their assault which was met with great resistance from crossbowmen on the opposite bank. To clear them out, catapults were used as noted earlier. Once the crossing was completed, a second contingent attacked from the south. The result was mass hysteria, and to make sure the Hungarians didn't battle until their dying breath, the Mongols left an overt hole in their blockade. This was one of Subutai's classic maneuvers, to craft a strategic situation that appeared positive for the enemy but was completely negative. The Mongols had lost more men than usual because the Hungarian crossbowmen had killed many of their cavalry. Subutai did not want to fight a battle where the crossbowmen, supported by mounted knights, would stand firm and not retreat until they were all dead. He preferred that they retreated so his archery snipers could shoot them easily. The Hungarian knights were no match for the Mongol archers, who picked them off from a distance. The countryside was littered with corpses over the space of a two-day journey. Two archbishops and three bishops were killed at the Sergio, along with 40,000 fighting men. In one battle, most of Hungary's army was destroyed while suffering minimal casualties themselves, although we don't know exactly how many Mongols died. In 1241, Subutai was planning an invasion of the Holy Roman Empire when he received news that Ogodei Khan had died. According to Mongol tradition, all princes were required to attend the funeral in Mongolia, so Subutai withdrew from his planned campaign. The death of the Great Khan was the only thing that stopped the attack on Europe. Had the Great Khan not died and Subutai continued towards the Atlantic, no army could have made a stand against him. After Subutai was removed from commanding the European invasions by Guyak Khan's ascension to the Khanate, he was placed in charge of the campaign against the Song dynasty at 70 years old. Subutai is widely considered one of Genghis Khan's greatest generals, and even has a statue erected in his honor. The Battle of Mogi was his most significant victory. It is known as one world's most pivotal battles. Historians everywhere respect Subutai as one of the most skillful military strategists to have ever lived. His efforts contributed to establish the largest empire in human history. Without him, there would be no Mongol conquest recorded in Korea, China, Persia, Russia or Hungary. Much of what is now common theories and practices among modern military operations were first established and used by Subutai and his fellow Mongol armies meaning his legacy still very much lives on today. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe.